Okay, now this is question number five. The time in hours that Devin plays on his games machine each day is normally distributed with a mean of 3.5 and standard deviation of 0 0.9. Now it already tells us that this is a normal distribution question because he says normally distributed. So we know that normally distributed, we have this as mean is 3.5 and the standard deviation is 0 0.9. So this is gonna be written as standard deviation squared because we write normally distribution as the mean and standard deviation squared. Now find the probability that on a randomly chosen day, Devin plays on his games machine for more than 4.2 hours. So we have to work out the probability of X being more than 4.2. Now remember this is X. And we have the first thing we do is we convert the X to the Z value. That means we have to standardize this. So we write this as Z is greater than X minus mu, which is the mean upon standard deviation. That's how we standardize this. And we have this as probability of Z being greater than 4.2, which is going to be 4.2 minus the mean value, which is 3.5. Whole thing over the standard deviation was given as 0 0.9, which we get this as probability of Z as being greater than 0 0.778. So this is Z being greater than 0 0.778. If we have greater than, we know we do one minus phi value of 0 0.778, because if we have probability of Z being greater than A, this is just gonna be one minus phi of A. So that's what we have applied over here. So one minus value of this 0 0.778. Now 0 0.778 is the value we are looking for in the normal distribution table. So we can have the normal distribution table over here. And we can just magnify this. So 0 0.778, 0 0.7, that's this row. Another seven, so that's right over here. That gives us 0 0.7794. And we are looking for 0 0.778. So that's 0 0.77 and eight in this, which is 24. So that means 24 has to be added to this. If we now plus them, add these two up, we get four and four is eight. 9, 10, 11, this becomes 8, 7, 0 0.7818. So we have got this as 1 minus 0 0.7818. And this is going to give us 0 0.218 as the answer. So that is the probability of having this as more than Z being more than 4.2. X being more than 4.2 basically. Now B on 90% of days, Devin, Devin uh, plays on his games machine for more than T hours or 90%. So that's probability of X being more than T, which is unknown. And that's for 90%, so that's 0.9% probability. Find the value of T. So we have to work out the value of T. So if we do the same, we standardize this first. So we have probability of Z being greater than T minus the mu value, which is 0, 3.5 over standard deviation, which is 0 0.9. So we standardize this first, and this is equal to 0 
Now, the one point, the important point, thing, uh, need point to remember over here is that we are given the probability of x being greater than t, which is equal to 0 0.9. Now, we know that when it's greater than t, we do 1 minus phi of t, and that's 0 0.9. So if I do one minus 0 0.9, I will get a number which is less than 0 0.5. So that's gonna be less than 0 0.5. If I look up in the table for 0 0.5, so this is reverse probability. If I look up in the table for 0 0.5, my table starts from 0 0.5. So one minus 0 0.9, it's, not good. it's just gonna give me 0 0.1, which I cannot look up in the table. So that means, we do have a greater sign, but we are not going to subtract this from one minus. So what do we do in this case? So in this case, whenever we have, let's say the probability of X being greater than, oh, sorry, the probability of Z being greater than A of 0 0.9, and we cannot do one minus in this, so that means the probability of Z is going to be a negative value because if we have a negative value, then only we do not subtract from one minus because that negative value, we can write this as less than A and for less than A, we just do phi of A. So 0 0.9. So that means we have to look reverse in the table for the, for the value of 0 0.9 and this whole value will turn out to be a negative value. So we can write minus t minus 3.5 is equal to 0 0.9. It's upon 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.9 in the table. So what value are we getting in the table for 0 0.9? 0 0.9 is just gonna give us 0 0.8159. Zero point nine. We have to look in the table in reverse, so we are finding the reverse value. So zero point nine is the closest we can get to zero point nine. Will be this value right over here. So that is from one point two. One point two eight. So we get one point two eight, and we need to add three. So it's going to be two or four. One of these. And if we look at the critical values over here, so 0 0.9 is already given to us as 1.282. So we can use this. So these are some values which do not have values over here in the table, which are not shown over here in the table. So we do not get exact 0 0.9 value. So we can use this value, the property of 0 0.9. So the Z value, the five value would be 1.282. Now, since this has to be a negative value, we already have multiplied this by an minus sign. So this is equal to 1.282 as we got this from the table. So instead of having the minus sign over here and multiplying this by minus, the whole bracket by minus, I can just have the minus sign over here. So I'm just multiplying the whole equation by minus one. So I get t minus 3.5 over 0 0.9 is equal to minus 1.282. T minus 3.5 is equal to minus 1.282. I divide by 0 0.9. And I solve this for T. I will be getting this as 2.35. So that's my T value. So that's part B done. Now we're going on to another part. The next part is part C. In part C, it says, calculate an estimate for the numbers. Calculate an estimate for the number of days in in the year 365. And Devin plays on his machine, games machine for between this to this. So that is X is between 4.2 2.8. So that means we have to find the probability first in order to work out the number of days because once we have the probability, so the number 
of this will be probability times 365. So probability per day multiplied by the probability into 365 is going to give us the probability of number of days in the whole year. So this is this. So first we need to do is we need to standardize this. And we have this as 2.8 minus 3.5 over 0 0.9. We have 4.2 minus 3.5 over 0 0.9. So we do standardizing first. And we get this once we standardize 2.8 minus this. That's going to give us 0 0.7. So that's going to give us 0 0.778. So that gives us a negative value, negative 0 0.778. And we get the same value over here, which is 0 point, a positive 0 0.778. So these are the two Z values we are getting. Now, remember what we're going to do over here is we're going to do if this was minus A Z and this was B, we do this as the first, the second value, which is phi of B minus one minus, because it's negative I of A. So that's what we're gonna apply over here. So phi of the second value, which is this, 0 0.778 minus one minus phi of 0.778. Since we're getting the same values, if I open the bracket, that gives me minus one, that gives me plus phi of this. So that's two phi of 0 0.778 minus one, basically. So if I look up the value of 0 0.778 in the table, I will be getting my, this is the same value we got before. So that's two times and for 0 0.778, we got this as 0 0.7818 minus one. So if this multiply by this minus one, that gives you 0 0.5636, since this is not the final answer. So I haven't taken this to 3SF. I've taken this to 4SF since this is not my final answer. So the number of days in an year would be the property times 365, which is 0 0.5636, the property times 365. So the number of days in a year are 205 days. That's the answer to part C.